game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. City Hall, 8.32 p.m. to start off the game <laughs> wow did not expect that get it open on it hey you think he's gonna show He'll bring the whole goddamn place down stay focused we'll be out of here before anyone can stop us Under the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. happened Bruce you can't keep doing this I have to <laughs> no one else will every drop of blood everything you've sacrificed the city is safer now it's made you a target and people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky criminals in this city <laughs> they need something to fear Whatever got in, don't let it get out. do that back to back so I, I would be freaking out if I were them Dude. 
say it. I know you're trying to. I just wanted to say I am Batman. But be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come at! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Eventually, I'm gonna miss one of these skill checks. Oh, I missed it, I missed! Jesus. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Is that Catwoman? Is that who that is? Behind you, big boy. Huh? Payday. Why am I under arrest? I'm trying to help. Doesn't make any sense. Well, if you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you. So are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Mm -hmm. Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Oh my god, this is fast. Hmm. So focused right now. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. What? What the heck is that thing? Gordon the only one that likes me? 
Do all the other cops hate me? I don't... I don't get it. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. What? God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait! Why did he shoot me? Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Who put you up to this? Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. Yeah, you're right. I won't let go. I saved her life, and this is how she repays me. Aww. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. I was thinking the same thing. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. They didn't sound too amused. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, Isn't Harvey thank Dent you for opening your house to us. being a bad guy? Now, I know this is the Pretty biggest sure mansion does, in Gotham, I can't but I don't think who? you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? <gasps> I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice uh, with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> yeah, Correct. I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stuff. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. 
your face specifically, with a mouth that's saying, support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash uh, and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. So a new face for Gotham. Which, for the record, That's I have it. not been since. But a dent in crime. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Where you are? I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey. But you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Oz? Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you, but we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference, and that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. <laughs> no, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. That? Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that cape bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. I don't say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who Indeed. ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> and don't worry though, I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility get to, see Joker to help Gotham's in this game? most at-risk individuals. I want to see Joker. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, Thanks for bringing tragedy it back up. like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe, uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. You're welcome, Harvey. Well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. <laughs> Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. 
I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Ooh! Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Oh my god! <laughs> Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, it's nothing. It's just, uh... cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. <laughs> kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Yeah. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Hey, why are you defending them, Harvey? And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. Absolutely not. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Carmine Feltone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy is gonna sell me his house. Absolutely not. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. As you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple what Mayor Hill had... Hey, what's... <laughs> Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll get a drink or something. Christ. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? I'm not selling my house. And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey... Actually, I don't actually think that, but I ran out of time He's to, trying to make read Gotham all the options. A better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. He's gonna do what he says. Be nice. Play nice. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. 
The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. <laughs> Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. I'm about to. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. <laughs> and he's gonna get what's coming to him. Oh, great. 